Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to BISP Solutions. This is Farha Alam. And here we are having discussion on OTBI, which is an Oracle Transactional Business Intelligence, a reporting tool that comes under the Oracle Fusion application. So in our previous session, we have covered the introduction part of Oracle Fusion application, and we have seen the overview of OTBI. And I hope I have told you that uh, under OTBI, we can create the analysis and generate the report in two ways. Either we can go with the BI composer or we can go with the uh, BI analysis editor. So today I'm going to show you how do we create our first and simple analysis using BI composer under OTBI. So, before we proceed and create uh, our first analysis using BI Composer, firstly, we should uh, know about the basic requirements, like uh, on which particular uh, aspect we are going to create our analysis. So here uh, we are having the requirements. Uh, and so here we have the requirement to create an analysis for invoice detail and, gen and generate a report on that one. So basically here we are going to create the analysis for the invoice detail and uh, uh, this invoice detail basically belongs to the subject area which comes under the finance and under finance we have to select the payable subject area then we will be able to create our analysis for the invoice detail. So before we proceed and create the analysis firstly we should know what is invoice detail and what kind of information does this invoice can contain? Why do we need this one? So, what is invoice detail? Invoice detail is nothing but it is like a bill which contains some basic information like uh, uh, the, it is, it is like a bill which we get whenever we purchase and buy any product or commodity and it, uh, so this is the invoice detail and what kind of information does this invoice can contain? So this invoice can contain the date on which the particular product has been purchased, uh, the uh, some description over there and we have the invoice amount information, uh, we have the quantity of that particular product, we have some supplier information, sites information. Uh, so these are some basic information which an invoice detail can contain. Then next we have why do we need this invoice detail? So basically this invoice detail serves as an evidence between the buyer and the seller. It is in written documented form which gives us the information about uh, which particular seller has been purchased that product and who is the buyer of that product. This is basically the need of the invoice detail as it serves an evidence. So before, uh, so in order to create our first simple analysis, uh, we have to simply log into the instance, then we'll be able to generate the report. So here I have, uh, for time being, I have already logged into, into the instance and this is the home page of our application. One more thing I want to show you, which is, uh, like how the report which we are going to prepare will look like. So this is basically the sample uh, invoice detail which contains the invoice date, invoice description, invoice number, invoice type, invoice currency, supplier number, site, payment terms name. Invoice amount, invoice amount paid, supplier. These are the informations which an invoice can contain. And this is the output of the report. And this one here, this one we are going to prepare. So for that, we have to log into the instance and this is the home page of our application. And before we proceed to create the analysis, firstly, we should know about the navigation in order to reach out the OTBI environment. So. In this home page, we have uh, the on the top uh, left corner, we have the option called navigator. Click on this one. 
when we click on this one it will going to open some other options which comes under this navigator icon and here we have to search the option which is under navigator we have to search the option which is called the tools one and under tools we have to click on this reports and analytics option click on this one then it will going to redirect us to the home page of otbi environment where we will be able to create the analysis and generate the report So this is the home page of our OTBI environment and here we have to click on this create option and under create we have two other options which is the report and the analysis one. So we have to click on this one which is the analysis. When we click on this analysis option, it will going to open the window where we will be able to select our respective subject area. So when we open, uh, when we click on the analysis option, it will going to open the subject area window where we will be able to select our respective subject area. Here we are uh, selecting the payables one. So type over here the desired subject area and click on this search icon. So when we click on the payables, uh, payables uh, when we type the papers uh, subject area in the search bar and click on the search icon then it will going to open all the payables related subject area and here we are going uh, i'm going to select this one which is the payables invoices transaction real time enable or check this uh, subject area and click on this continue option then here we will be able to select the desired measures which we want to include in the analysis uh, this is the subject area payables invoices transactions real time and all these accounting business unit distribution fiscal calendar all these are the uh, dimensions which belongs to this subject area and under this uh, in uh, i'm going to select the invoice detail dimension and under this invoice detail dimension uh, we have the subfolder which is the general information invoice amount invoice uh, approval information and so on so I'm going to click on the general information subfolder. Then it will going to open all the measures which belongs to this general information subfolder. So I'm going to select the invoice date. Just select the measure and click on this add column icon. Then it will going to uh, display the selected measures under the selected column areas right now i have selected the invoice date after that i'm going to select the invoice description and uh, invoice number i want to include in this one and invoice type name this is all about the general information folder
expand the invoice amount uh, subfolder here from here i'm going to include the invoice amount and invoice currency after that i'm going to include the supplier information like uh, the name of the supplier this is the one supplier and then i want to include the supplier site information so for that i have to click on this uh, dimension which is the supplier side one click on this one and from here we have to search the measure which is the site search that one select that one and click on this add column icon then it will going to display under the selected column areas after selecting all the desired measures for the analysis click on this next option and here we have to provide the title for analysis so here i am going to give the appropriate name for my title which is the invoice detail and after that uh, we have these uh, we have provided the title over here and uh, here we have to select uh, basically the representation so this time uh, there is uh, no representation is uh, selected over here so i am going to select the table which is the recommended one and after selecting this one we have to click on the or enable this uh, preview option so that we will be able to get the preview of our analysis so after providing the appropriate title and select the table recommended option and enable this preview option we will get the preview of our analysis and this is the one after that click on this next option again we have to click on the next option it will going to ask her to perform some kind of sorting and filtration over here under this analysis so this time i am not going to do all these things i am just going to show you how do we create the simple analysis so i am not going to select any one of them i am just going to select the next then here it will going to ask to highlight the particular field or measures in some particular form so if we want to do that one so we can do that also like uh, for the invoice amount i am going to uh, okay this time i am not going to perform any kind of highlighting over here just click on this next option after clicking on this uh, uh, it will going to ask the name for the analysis in the uh, previous uh, window it uh, it it asks for the title for the analysis and this time it going it will going to ask the name for the analysis uh, for which uh, for which name we have to want to save the analysis so i am provide the name for the analysis over here same thing i am providing in the description also so here uh, where we want to save our analysis basically in the, here uh, under uh, this uh, otb environment we have two folders where we will be able to uh, keep or save the report so one, first one is the my folder and uh, second one is the shared folder as these reports are basically meant to prepare for the purpose of, of decision making so it is uh, always recommended to save the reports or analysis under the shared folder 
click on this shared folder or expand this one and under this shared folder we have one custom folder click on uh, expand that one and under this uh, custom folder we uh, we can create our own folder as i have created the one which is this one click uh, select this one and after selecting the desired folder uh, click on this submit uh, option so that it will going to save this analysis on that uh, particular destination so after clicking on this submit uh, option we will get one uh, confirmation message which is the analysis saved successfully please close the current browser tape window to exit the wizard click on this ok after that we will have to search for the analysis which we have just created so click on this clear filter option and uh, here we get the these two folders so where we have saved our analysis under shared folder Sh under shared we have one custom and cl click on this custom one and under custom we have to search the folder which is this one and uh, this is the one which we have just created invoice detail analysis so just simply click on this one so that it will going to open this particular analysis which we have just created which contains these information which is the invoice date invoice description invoice number invoice type name invoice currency supplier site information we have the invoice amount information so basically this is the invoice detail which we have just created uh, by using the bi composer one and uh, under otbi this is basically the simple creation of our first analysis and this is all about uh, our today's session uh, if you have any query regarding this please reach out to the reach out to us and this this is all about today's session thank you everyone for watching